Morning. So, Monday of Holy Week. Scripture this morning is from John chapter 12, verse 2 to 5. A dinner was prepared in Jesus' honor. Martha served, and Lazarus was among those who ate with him. Then Mary took a 12-ounce jar of expensive perfume made out of the essence of nard. And she anointed Jesus' feet with it, wiping his feet with her hair. The house was filled with a fragrance, but Judas Iscariot, the disciple who would soon betray him, said, That perfume was worth a year's wages. It should have been sold and the money given to the poor. You know, verse 4, Judas was talking about how the money could have been given to the poor, how expensive the perfume was. But if we read on, we know that uh, Judas wasn't really worried about the poor. He was more worried about the 300 denarii he could get and maybe pocket a little bit, right? The point I want to talk about this morning is there's always people around when we try to worship Jesus and honor Jesus that are going to tell us we're wasting our time or tell us why it's 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 just unnecessary what we're doing. Mary was Mary was trying to honor Jesus by anointing him with this expensive perfume. It was it was her perfume. You know, even um, when we love Jesus, when we really love Jesus. It doesn't matter what people around us say. It doesn't matter um, if our worship and the way we worship seems offensive to some people. You know, we got a lot of churches, they worry about, they change the way they worship so we don't offend unbelievers. Worship isn't for non-believers. It's not for the unchurched. Yes, we're supposed to reach out. We're supposed to make disciples. We're supposed to share Christ with those that don't know Him. But worship is for Jesus. It's for us to show Him honor. It's for us to show our King and our Savior how much we love Him. So this week, think about that. How do you honor Jesus in your home? I think about it, how am I honoring Jesus? If I'm really honoring Him, I should be loving my wife, uplifting her. I should be loving my children. I should be opening my home to my neighbors to love them. I should be reaching out and doing things that don't necessarily make sense. So as we come into this Holy Week, as we come into Easter week, let's honor Jesus. Honor Him with our praise, with our music, with our actions, with our reaching out and showing His love to other people. If it offends somebody because I kneel down and close my eyes and pray, let Him be offended. If it offends somebody because I listen to worship music while I'm driving down the road, let him be offended. If it offends somebody that I love Jesus, let them be offended. Why does it bother them that I love Jesus? Nobody gets upset with me that I love my wife. Nobody gets upset with me that I love my children. So why do I worry if they get upset with me if I love my Savior? Just think about it this week. Are we... Are we changing how we honor Christ because we're afraid what the world's going to think? Are we hiding from ourselves this week for the fear of offending somebody else? Love Jesus Christ. He loves us. He, he gave His life for us. That's what this Holy Week's all about, Easter. Giving His life to save us. So this week, let's honor Him. Let's get back to honoring Him the way He deserves, with our whole heart, our whole lives, and everything about us. I love you. Have a blessed Holy Week. Praise Christ Jesus.